Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a tarot and oracle deck haul. Don't know why it's going out of focus. Okay. So, um, this is not going to be a flip through or a walkthrough of the cards. It's just, uh, just a quick show of what I, what I got. I ordered both of these online um, through Amazon.com. So we'll start off with the tarot deck, and it is the uh, Pam Pamela Coleman Smith RWS tarot deck. This one is through um, Low Scarabio. Yep, this one is through Low Scarabio. Um, I know there's a lot of issue around this deck. This is not the one that they made like a limited supply of that has the color uh, scheme is a little different. Uh, although I would like, would have loved to have that one. I I love how those colors are done. They're so um, vibrant and rich and saturated. But um, I wanted another deck um, uh, right away Smith deck anyway. I do have the um, S the Smith White Tarot deck, the Centennial Edition, which I've had several copies of the commemorative one and all have constantly gotten ruined, so I just gave up on that. This is the same, just, well, the, the tin is smaller, um, but even not in the tin, it's the same deck. It's just that you don't get all the like that book of the artwork or uh, and, uh, information and stuff about Pamela Coleman Smith. So I got this one as well and this is the your standard type um, colors. Um, so um, yeah, here's the back. Oh, oh, no, that's not the back. Okay, so here's the back. Um, the other edition, these are smaller, um, so there's more rows of these, and the rows in the center is smaller. Um, the color on the box is also small; is different. The regular one, this one, the um, has like that red on the table. The table's red. The other edition, which I would love to have <laughs> again, is uh, brown. The table is brown on the box. Um, I did see in the comments in uh, one of the videos, um, I think it was Hermit's Cave, in the comments someone posted that they contact, that someone had contacted uh, Los Garabio. It's a comment also that's on Amazon, so they copied it from Amazon, about, you know, why is it, it's the same box, same, you know, so there's no way to tell the difference between one or the other. Um, Los Garabio, according to that response, basically said that the um, they're going to make more in 2019. Um, I would love to get one if that's the case. I would love to know when that comes out to get it, but whatever. So anyway, neither here nor there. Um, I bought this knowing that I most likely would not be getting the other version um, because I just wanted I just wanted this anyway um, there's a few other writer uh, weight uh, decks that I want to get out there <clears throat> so I'll just quickly show you what you know you've seen and it has the the regular font the other one has a type cast or typeset font um, so just quickly, um, I won't post a video on this. Um, let me see, because I think I put this one back in order, because this is what I'm using to study tarot with, to do my tarot study with. So I'll show, <coughs> you can see one, 
there's a size difference between these two cards um, but there is a color difference as well the colors you can see the colors in this is a bit more deeper and the uh, centennial um, the centennial one the colors are deeper of course they're smaller because the tins you know come in smaller sizes and I have small hands so that's also why I pr my preference when I'm learning tarot is this smaller deck because it's just all around easier for me um, but so you you can see a difference in these two cards I'm trying to get without glare so you can really you know um, the the color at the bottom where the names are, are also um, different and uh, let's see Let's try another card. So you have, so you can see another card. As you can see, there is a difference in the coloring. Um, the low scarabeo is lighter in color for the um, pictures. So that's that. And it comes with a little white book, but it's really black. <laughs> the cover is really a black book. Um, so it comes with like a little white book or black book, however you want to call it in this instance. But I guess the white book page is a white. Um, and ooh, <laughs> like most, like all Los Scarabio, it comes in different languages in the one book. So you're not going to get a whole lot of information about the cards in that little book there. Um, okay, let me just put this back in there. That was almost bad business. Almost knocked over my drink. Uh -oh. And so the next deck that I got is an oracle deck, and it is the Divine Feminine Oracle by Megan Watterson. I did, uh, I actually filmed this video before where I literally was unboxing it, so I've taken the plastic off and everything, and I had such a hard time with this box, trying to get the thing out um, open, but it was easier this time around, so a little bit easier. Um, now, like I said, I have... I have small hands so if you can see this is how it holds in my hands so shuffling would be difficult for me decks like this I always shuffle overhand um, well if you heard that that's my uh, <laughs> was it township <laughs> I've been playing township lately I used to play Oregon Trail Oregon Trail American Settlers which is way different than the original Oregon Trail and uh, I can't get it I can't the Kendall fire that um, doesn't support it anymore so um, I've been playing Township well hasn't supported it for a while but okay so here's the backs of the cards which to me because I have not read the book yet so to me it symbolizes the female opening or feminine opening to me um, I got this deck because I very much am connected to, to feminine divine energies um, much more so than the male aspect so anytime I really do workings or anything it's more to the female the feminine you know so um I got this deck because it has uh, feminine archetypes or uh, well not just deities or divine beings um, well yes I would say they're divine beings even if they're not deities um, from around the world different cultures and so I was very much intrigued by this deck so 
I decided to get it. Um, I want to work with more female um, energies, uh, different types. You know, I've I've worked with, um, and I still do. My uh, matron goddess is Isis, um, but I've also worked with Kali, with Demeter, um, Lakshmi. Uh, so I want to, you know really get into some more feminine uh, deities so um, I may do a walkthrough of this so I'm only going to show quick like a few cards so you have here let's see as you can see because that glare is something crazy okay so you have Mary Magdalene and so you have who it is and then you have at the bottom if you can see there uh, the meaning of the card um, also like a little uh, wordage of, can I turn this light did that help oh, does that help that does not help some verbiage um, and what they're connected to okay I'm going to turn off that light because that did not help <laughs> um Okay. You have, uh, let's see, Fatima. I'm not even going to try to pronounce because I don't want to mess it up. So, let me see. Boy, there we go. Ma Mao Shen, I think. A lot of these I cannot pronounce, so I'm not going to. I'll just show you some of the cards. And they're gorgeous cards, and the card stock is really good, um, in my opinion. Um, let's see if we get one here. So you have here, it's really, it's pretty good pretty sturdy um, Sappho who I believe was a poet oh yeah it says the poetress poetess yeah yeah she was a poet and was it ancient in ancient times she came from the island of Lesbos which is where the term lesbian derives from actually um, a Rodney uh, there we go but I just love the colors and they're all very all the cards are very celestial looking you know um, so yep so that's that um, if you're interested just keep an eye out I will be doing a walkthrough of this and uh, by then I would have gone through the guidebook which is pretty thick actually um, I think they have spreads in here um, besides the different information the different uh, divine archetypes I think there's spreads in here I don't know let's see real quick it goes through you know basically how to use this deck um, and then you have the female archetypes um, and then at the end of each description it looks like so what they have is um, who she is when your soul selects your her card and soul voice meditation and the intention for that card uh, let's see if we don't know that there's a spread in here I don't see anything about a spread. No. I don't see anything about a spread. I could be missing it in the beginning. But once you get past the introduction, they're definitely um, all about the cards. About each card. So, but yes. So, um, look out for that video that will be coming up soonish. <laughs> 
so um, yeah so I am happy with my two purchases that I got <laughs> so thank you oh and let me show so I finished edging my crystal visions tarot and so I don't know if you'll be able to see it uh, but I edged them a pink color I edged them with uh, distressed ink sponge sugar okay so let me see if you can see it we'll focus, focus. it's not focusing oh well anyways so I edged them with that and it's a very soft looking pink I also <laughs> trimmed my Vintage Wisdom Oracle deck. So, um, and I'll probably show that off in another later video. I have not edged it yet, but I have trimmed it, so that bit is done. So, And I love how it looks trimmed. I absolutely love it. I saw videos on it, and I just love, I love it even more. <laughs> so, that's my haul. So, thank you for watching, and blessed be.